Das ist so tot. Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of the pressure chamber we built to do torches and GoPro housings. Uh, word of warning, don't try and open the lid when the cylinder is still pressurized. Why is it so tight? We're still under pressure, that's why. So we're going to install the torch into the upper zone where there is no water. We'll then pressurize it, leave the torch for a minute or two if there's a leak. In this case, we know this one's leaking so that the torch inner cavity can be pressurized to the same as the whole cylinder. After the previous fiasco, we've now changed the parts in case this thread was damaged and we've left the threads a lot longer so there's a lot more grip. Okay, I have a little mirror here just so I can see that pressure gauge. I also have a pressure gauge here. We're going to take it up to 2 bar and hold it at 2 bar. It's holding pressure, so we're going to keep going. We're holding now at two bar. Slowly went down a bit. It's now holding at two bar, went just over. That's probably the air escaping into the torch. So that void is now equal the pressure as what's in the tank. It stopped moving now. So we're going to let the air out very slowly. I'm just going to crack the valve and then submerge the torch. Now the air is coming out. You can see now the air is escaping from the torch from the switch. Obviously, water is not getting into the torch because the pressure inside the torch is greater than the pressure around it. We now can see exactly where the leak is. Before all the air is out, I'm going to slowly release the pressure. Now you see a bigger differential. We're now down to one and a half bar. As I keep releasing it. The air keeps escaping. So at no point can water get into the torch whilst it's escaping. So we haven't damaged the, the torch. All we need to do is stop the water, ex the air escaping before it gets completely empty and take it out the water by rotating it. Now I'm depressing the tire valve, making sure there's no more air. I should set up another valve up at the top here so it's easier to release, but that's the basics of it. That's how it works. We can now release the lid, take out the torch and replace the switch. That's a non-destructive pressure testing of this torch done.
If I open the torch now, it will be dry inside. Perfectly dry internally, even though there was a failure. As you can see, the failure let air out the torch and not water in. Hope you enjoyed that demo. Stand by for the next.